Amal Kumar. Here is a word problem on ratios. Ratio of sides of a rectangle is 3 is to 4. If perimeter of this rectangle is 126 meters, find the length and width. You can actually pause the video, answer the question. What we are given here is that the rectangle which we are talking about has dimensions width and length in the ratio of 3 is to 4 right so we could say 3 times any number is the width and 4 times any number is the length then the ratio will be 3 is to 4 correct we are given that the perimeter right perimeter is sum of all the sides right so perimeter is sum of sides sum of all the sides so we say perimeter P is 2 times length plus 2 times width and that is given to us as 126 meters. We have to find what should be the dimensions or what should be length and width of this rectangle. That's the question for you. I hope the question is very clear. You can now pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now my approach is that we have already written perimeter that means twice length and twice width is 126. Now if I divide each by 2, if I divide each by 2, right, so only adding length and width once, in that get, case I get length plus width is equals to 12 divided by 2 which is 63, right. So that is the length plus width, 63. Now what we have here is the ratio of, we have ratio of length and width is 3 is to, I mean, because length is normally more, anyway, 3 is to 4 is the ratio. At the end, we'll change length to be a longer side. Now if the ratio is 3 is to 4, you also see 3 plus 4 is how much? 3 plus 4 is 7. That is to say, let's try to understand this, if, if, length plus width equals to 7 then length equals to 3 width equals to 4 correct that is what we are trying to say right in our case what do we have we have length plus width as 63 now how is 63 related with 7 this is what we have to find so we have to find relation between 7 and 63 Clearly, 7 times 9 is 63, right? So, to get this, it is times 9. Do you get an idea? So, to get a perimeter, rather, half of the perimeter to be 63, our length and width ratio should be multiplied by 9, right? So, we'll times them by 9 each, right? So, if I do that, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36, correct? If you add them, what do you get? You do get 63. Is that okay? So that is a way to solve this question. So solving this, what we found in our case that length and width are 27 and 60, 36. So we are saying 3x rather. So we are saying this is 27 and this side is 36. Now opposite sides are equal. So this is also 36 and this is 27. If we add them all, what do you get? 27 plus 36 plus 27 plus 36, you will definitely get 126 meters, right? So they help you. So this method helps you to find the answer without really defining a variable and going for it, right? So this is kind of logical steps to get to the answer. I hope these steps help you how we can find the dimensions of the rectangle using ratios. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.